guys welcome back to my channel please if this is your first time of coming across my channel please just do me the favor and hit the subscription button thank you so much so here is a story of a 26 year old woman who killed her married lover she stabbed him multiple times with a dagger in a walking cane he had brought out to use on her for denying him another round of stab. so this is how the story goes the above and many more were details provided to operatives of the River State Police Command by a 26-year-old suspect, Sarah Wampo, alleged to have killed her married lover, Anthony Ibodike, on December 23rd. The suspect, a mother of two and secondary school liver, who is currently detained at the State Criminal Investigation Department in River State, told detectives that she acted in self-defense as Ibodike had locked his door to prevent her leaving and brought out the walking cane to use it on her. So trouble started for the woman on December 22 after she received a phone call from Ibodike who she claimed had been wooing and sending her cash gift and agreed for them to meet. According to the suspects, she relocated to Port Harcourt from Enugu last August where she began a new relationship after jettisoning the one which made her a single mother of two kids. She was in a relationship with one Ebanga, who she allegedly cheated on with Ibodike and had called him for help when things went awry during her visit to her married lover's house, but he refused to get involved. That's Ebanga refused to get involved. According to the suspects, she first met Ibodike in 2017 in Enugu, and while in Port Harcourt, he kept calling her, extending invitations to her to his residence. She said he told her he was separated from his wife and wants to start all over with her. She told detectives she kept making excuses to turn down the invitation because she wanted to be faithful to Ebanga, but Ibodike was persistent and kept sending her money at different times and so she eventually gave in to his demands and they agreed to meet around 10 a.m. at Kilimanjaro Choba Junction. Anthony paid the tricycle rider 500 naira and their day began. That is when the lady finally met him. The Anthony, that's the Ibodike now, settled the tricycle rider 500 naira. So after that, Amampo accompanied him as he arranged to pay his staff salaries for the month of December. One of his staff, who spent some time with the duo as Anthony met transactions in the bank. He took Sarah shopping for groceries and home supplies after he had finished the transaction and sent Hope on her way home. Afterwards, they went to his apartment at Macy Land Extension, Obiri Ikwere, an apartment in a compound he shares with his landlord. As they settled in, he asked her to prepare a meal for him. He accompanied her to his kitchen, showed her how to operate the appliances there, and sat back to let her finish off the cooking. It was just past noon. At this time, after a few minutes, he left the house to buy more home supplies, Gary, Fufu, and a soup pack. So what was she cooking then, if he went out to buy soup? When she was done, Ibodike helped himself to the meal of eba and soup she had prepared as she claimed she was not hungry. After the meal, he, Ibodike, went in to have a bath and thereafter they had intimate moments and even made videos recording of their escapades for kids. You see that? After that day, that's what they revealed themselves as they do. Wampo said she became hungry after the romp and decided to fix a meal for herself, narrating that Ibodike was with her even while she ate as they had friendly discussion. He inquired about her love life and she detailed her ongoing relationship with Joe Ebanga. He laughed at the idea of her dealings with the challenges of raising children and struggling with a relationship that was not financially rewarding. He offered to wrench her free from pecuniary relationship if she would let go of her relationship and marry him. He also sought to know if she was involved with other men beside her boyfriend. She said she was not. He continued his, his speech. Even as she went to have a bath, he explained his business to her and even presented her with job opportunity in his establishment, saying he, he was willing to make her a manager at his firm. She agreed to visit him again about a week so that they could begin plans for her life with him based on the discussion he had arranged for her to start work with him in January 2024. But the excitement was short-lived as Swampo, who had agreed to spend the night, changed her mind after he sent her to buy a call card for him. She mentioned the sudden change 
in feelings to him, but he was not perturbed. To lighten her up, he suggested that they go into the town to have a club and buy shawarma, but she turned that down, saying she was not in the mood and needed to return home. After more attempts to convincing her to stay, she agreed to spend the night. She put on one of his shorts and a shirt at his behest as she prepared dinner for them. It was about 10 p.m. at that time when he had finished eating and their discussion had whittled away, he beckoned on her to come to him as she did. He asked that she should caress him. She obliged but later opted out when he demanded intercourse as she said she was no longer comfortable. Her rejection greatly provoked him and he asked her to dress up and leave his house. She refused to leave and stood up to challenge him. A verbal war ensued and he slapped her. She attacked him and they began tussling and tugging at each other. As the scuffle subsided, he locked the door, picked up a walking cane and threatened to beat her with it. In that window, she dialed her boyfriend's number and when he picked up, she tried to explain events to him and asked him to help. He hung up and did not call back. She then tried to open the door but Ibudike held her back and they began another scrimmage. She said she screamed for help but no one heard her, let alone rescue her. In the fighting, he dropped the walking cane and she reached out for it and noticed that it had a detachable holding head. She quickly detached the head and saw that a car was attached to it. As he made his way to her, she swung at him with the dagger, s***ing him severally including a blow to the neck. Then that eventually proved fatal as he bled out he weakened. She opened the door and tried to escape but he grabbed her hair and maintained his grip even as she struggled to free herself. At this point, they have gotten out of his apartment and the Rokus had alerted his neighbor and his family. The landlord alerted other neighbors and they lifted Anthony into his own vehicle and took him to the hospital. As they were making plans to leave, they noticed Sarah frantically making a call. She was calling her boyfriend again to tell her the mess she had gotten herself into. It was about midnight at that time. The neighbor seized her phone and locked her up in Anthony's apartment as they left for the hospital. Some of them returned after a short while and asked her if she was not paid for her service for her to resort to her host. As she tried to explain, she was b and locked up again. She spent her time in the room cleaning up the pool of in the apartment. She said it was while she was in custody that she was informed that Ibudike had died. She also got a visit from four of his family members who wanted to know exactly what happened. His wife also visited. That, that's Ibudike's wife visited also. Don't forget that Ibudike already said that he is no longer with, living with the wife, but the wife also visited. His wife also visited the police to listen to the cause of her husband's untimely death. Reacting to the incident, the commissioner of police, Olatunji, did to advise individuals to exercise caution in their relationship and seek peaceful conflict resolution. So this... So this is how this lady ended the life of a young man who brought her in. You know, according to the lady, she said she, he says it's as a result of self-defense that, you know, she's the guy to death. So let's see how the investigation goes, what police is, co is going to come up with about the case. So thank you so much for listening and don't forget to like my video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a wonderful day.